Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today I'm going to indulge myself and hopefully many of you with another vacuums but this time vacuums and abs class. What a combination. So remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front with our familiar wave, the wave. I named this, I named this pose the wave because it really fits it. It's very fitting for what it is. It starts to awaken the stomach in a gentle way, in the stomach and the core, in a very gentle way, and it prepares us for doing poses in a really connected way. Again, as the other vacuums class, this can be done on its own or before other classes. So feel this. Every time you move in and you bring your pelvis in, contract everything, feel it. Feel the muscles. Great, shift the weight onto the right leg. And find a really soft stance, soft knee. Inhale, reach back with the leg. And come up, exhale. And bring the knee towards your rib cage. Pulling everything in and back. And and back release opposite side <laughs> loosen up everything so that there is no tension in the jaw no tension in the shoulders we do want beautiful posture but no tension so everything is upright and open but flowing beautifully reach back Big breath in, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And release. First vacuum of the day. There is different ways to visualize stomach vacuums the first thing is to exhale powerfully and completely work on your exhalations over time they should get better and better and better and better and better and the next is tucking the abdominal wall underneath the rib cage for everybody is different we are all different it doesn't matter how your vacuums look as long as you're feeling that there is something happening and there should be no pain if there is pain it's, I think it's a little bit of an uncommon thing. It might be a message to go get an ultrasound or checkup. So there should be no pain. It should feel like inside things are pretty, pretty light. So lean forward, exhale powerfully. And release. I do tuck in the abdominal wall under the ribcage, holding everything, pushing the breath out, contracting, <sighs> pulling the belly button towards the spine. Work with this type of visualizations. Again, Powerful. One more. <sighs> Good. 
connect to your breath, especially after vacuums, everything is starting to flow in a deeper way. Step out and we're going to bring the opposite foot to hand and change sides. Pull the belly in and move. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go three more. You can take time to catch your breath. If I'm moving really slow for you, just do a few extra while I'm talking or resting. Do extra. If I do three, you can do five in the gaps. So you don't feel like there is time wasted. <laughs> I did another class just like this yesterday. Today my vacuums are really powerful, even though I've eaten a little bit. <laughs> not immediately before class, but I'm not completely on empty. Empty enough. Two more. I find that the little rest between <sighs> vacuums really makes them more powerful. So breathe in between, connect your muscles. One more. Very good, and again, step it out. This time I want you to focus on your back muscles. So I want you to flex them, not tense them, flex them. Upper back should be really working. So you really are bringing the mind, body connection here into the equation and flexing as you move. So that we're exercising the back while we're also exercising the core. So upper back is totally working. Two, three, four, five. I hope this is visible, but I'm flexing everything. Eight, no tension, just flexing, just strength. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Twist it out. Three more. Hollow the belly. Exhale completely. Continue working on your exhalations. Really nothing more powerful than working on your breath. Deep breathing is the most healing thing we can adopt in our life. If we eat well, drink water, stay in the sun for a while, especially morning sun, all those things that are free and amazing, and we learn to breathe, that will probably be 80% <laughs> of our well being and then working on keeping the mind empty.
which it's pretty effective with yoga keeping the mind empty staying staying in the body two more One more. And let's lay down. bring your hands behind your head and we're going to do bicycles only with the legs so flex tighten the belly feel it connecting while you move you can move very slow normal speed whatever works for you Ten more. Rest for a moment. <sighs> Ten more. <sighs> Rest. Pelvic tilt with a stomach vacuum. You can press your hands down as you're doing the stomach vacuum, which I find it very helpful for finding a little extra push, a little more hollowness. We try to find emptiness with vacuums, emptiness in the core area. Well, we try to find emptiness in, in the monkey mind. Two more, let's go. One more. Bicycles. You can keep one leg on the floor and shift, or you can keep them off the floor. If you keep it on the floor, focus on isometric squeezes. Pull. Pull. Rest, 10 more. I'll do the variations with the foot on the floor because it allows me to really draw everything in. rest 10 more 
keep your elbows back <sighs> flip over plank twisting the hips one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pulling the back up and pulling the belly in not a full vacuum but very similar to a vacuum the whole core pulls in so press into your heels pull the inner thighs together pull the back up spine up and belly towards the spine and towards the middle everything is flexing really good for the upper belly here from belly button up rest we'll do two more it's a little different than a vacuum we're not holding we're pulling the abdominal wall, wall towards the center belly button in slightly up rest one more if this doesn't wake up your core muscles i don't know this will wake you wake your body up rest plank opposite knee tucks one two opposite elbow four five six seven eight nine ten plank jumps one two three four five six squeeze seven eight nine oh, ten let's stretch the belly out in camel press the hips forward lift up hold come back up come on to all fours take a breather vacuum stomach vacuum so man powerful this was powerful two more i'm doing this type of class i did one yesterday so two days in a row very focused vacuums sprinkled with complementing poses and um, it's really powerful the second day it's crazy It's gone. <sighs> one more. Last one, actually, for today. So, breathe, relax, smile. And let's go. Let's come on to all fours. Opposite leg to hand, elbow to knee, pull the belly in. One, two, keep the hips level three four pull everything in five opposite side really round the back when you bring the elbow to knee and pull everything in the belly in
Even this was very powerful for awakening everything. All right. Lay onto your back side. Lift the knee in, lift the leg up. Two, three, focus on the inner thigh. And four, five, opposite side. Lower belly, inner thigh. Three, four, five. Soles of the feet together and lift your legs up a few times, just a partial move here, focusing on the pelvic floor and inner thighs. Mind body connection again is recorded here. and you can come up we're done for today we've awakened the belly you can go ahead and move on with your day or of course you can do another class now that everything is awake if you have the energy go ahead and do more and i'll see you with the next class namaste